using this little cute curl afro that I just washed. Um, curly natural hair, lots of curls, lots of volume, just not enough length. How I go from this to this. I'm a boss, babe. Talk green or you lost, babe. And I wish I can tell you I used my natural hair, but you know I would be lying. <laughs> what I did use was a sensation, sensational Instant Pony Ing Bang set. It's a two-piece separate set. It's a 30-inch um, 1B, and I'll explain to you why I got this color. This is what it looks like. We'll be using the pony, this right here, to do the look that you just saw. Stay tuned if you want to see how we do all of this. Okay, especially for my natural curly hair girls, like... It is not easy to tame this and make it look like all of it is straight together. And because when you have curly hair, it is almost impossible for it to stay straight and look sleek, pulled back without it looking like a curly, pulled back pony. All right, babies. So here, what you want to do is obviously wash your hair. Now, I've done this look when I have not washed my hair and I've got called for like a business meeting or I've gotten called for things that require me to look a little bit more pulled together than curly hair. Um... So you can do this with a full head of hair that's clean. What's really cool about using like ponytail, extension ponytails, weave ponytails, whatever you call them, is that you can literally utilize the look wherever you are and however your convenience requires. So if you wash your hair like I did, you can wash your hair and then I'll show you how I part it. Or if your hair is dirty, you can literally just wash the front, wash the back, and then keep the middle all together just to achieve the look that I'm gonna share. So right now what I did was I washed my hair and um, I'm gonna get into the video of how we achieve this look with washed hair. I put nothing in it. This is my natural hair. Yes. All right, so here you can see that I started parting it. I parted very close to the ear. That way when you pull it back, all of that part, you see how I'm getting all the little hairs, making sure that they come to the front as the part of the hair that will be ironed. Now you go and you start the back. This part doesn't have to be even because no one really sees that. Just make sure you get a good enough chunk. And then I go ahead and brush this part really quick and I do a messy bun. There's no correct way to do that part in the meantime. I wet it a little bit just because my hair got really dried throughout the process. And then I go ahead and just tie it up, put it in a bun, and move on to the next step. Here you see that I am blow drying it before I flat iron. Listen girl, I do not want you to burn your hair. Make sure that you dry it first because I still have the inside of my hair wet. And then we go into ironing it. Now remember here the most important part is your roots because your roots is what's going to be showing when your hair is in the ponytail. Put more curls, found some, iron it, and then you know the process. brush it out to make sure there's no knots in it and then again same thing I start to I start by the ear just to make sure that I get the curls that are visible and then obviously you do the back and all that good stuff and then you check if you feel any bumps go ahead and just re-iron it again and that's how it should look by the time that you are done pull it up just to test it check for more curls So now you see that we've um, straightened the back part and the front. And if you notice, I paid a lot of attention to like little areas that I pulled back and I saw that like um, the curls were still pop, like my natural curls. Remember this part of my hair is still normal, like curly, moist hair. If you want, you can like put um, leave-in conditioner in there and just, you know, Look at that. This is going to be a whole look in itself. Anyway, so let's talk about hair now. So like I mentioned, I this ponytail right here, the sensational, sensational, instant pony in bang, two separate pieces, um, cami 30 inches, 1B. It is safe for up to, like you can curl it for up to 350 to 400 degrees. Now, I want to tell you something that you must pay attention to. So if my hair was down, um, and I bought clip-ins or I bought half a wig or whatever the case is, if my hair was down, I would be a two, color two. Um, because my hair, when you pull it up in a ponytail, it is darker than when I have it down, that it's like a two-tone. It's like really dark black and then a lighter black. Um, 
for this pony, I had to get the one bean. I don't know if that made sense. So normally I'm a color two, I believe it's two. Is it two? Yeah, two. Um, if it's not a ponytail, if it's a ponytail, I have to get a one bean. This one, um, I found the closest one to this and I've tagged it down below. Um, if not, just go to your local beauty supply store. Obviously, if you don't live near a beauty supply store, then you need to go to your, like, your closest hood and find a beauty supply store, okay? All right, so let's talk about hair. Now, what do we call her? Let's call her Cami for the sake of... <laughs> I love it. It gives me like Cardi vibes, right? You ready? Who is you? All right, anyways. So one of my favorite things, so I bought the $8 ponies, I bought the $10 pony, and then this one was like the $15 pony, right? What I love most, hold on, let me tell you something first. So she just came back from New York with me. We were just in New York together. So she's been traveling a little bit. So she's a little hurt. And then she had two events after New York. So let's, we got to give her some TLC. But here's what I'm going to tell you. I don't mind wearing these once or twice and then getting rid of them instead of maintaining them. I don't like maintaining stuff. So I don't mind wearing it and then going and buy another one because I look at it like I paid $15 to do my hair. So it's really not a big deal. Now what I'm going to do is brush it. My favorite part about this pony, honestly guys, is this part. That right there. This is not a human hair wig. I think it's a mix or it's full synthetic. If I'm not mistaken, it's full synthetic. That's why you still see that there's a shine in it. Um, but I love the fact that it has this. I forgot what the hell this is called. When you wrap the bun around it automatically comes like that so when you put it on you see what i'm saying it already has this look the eight dollar ponies that i bought don't have this they just have the string um this pony though when you open her up she has one clip and then she has another clip and then she has a drawstring so this drawstring broke by mistake i popped it so that i ended up having to tie it check it out um, but again, it's 15 bucks. So it's not something that's like, oh my God, it hurt to buy. You know what I mean? Honestly, I bought this just for a look and that was it for the wedding. Uh, so let me brush her up. Where's the brush? All right, guys. So this is a, oh shit. I just stepped on stuff. All right. So this is an Annie brush that they told me is really good to brush out the extensions, extensions, or in this case, the pony. This one obviously has been through a lot. So when you buy your fresh one, it's amazing. Feels great. But never start at the top. Always start from the bottom bottom. So I'm going to brush her out a little bit. Because, honey, she needs some TLC. So let me know in the comments if this is your first time ever wearing oh shit, a pony. When I say a pony, I mean like a ponytail extension. If this is not and you are a pony OG, let me know down below. I have like four ponytails. Um, then I'm going to try. Oh, I love, look, look at that. 30 inches. I just want to do an install for 30 inches because lowered. All right. So I'm not going to go too crazy because honestly, this is just for the video. But brush her, take care of her. I bought this brush initially to keep it in my purse. Because when you do wear it, since it's not full human, like it's not human hair, it does get really tangled up. My boyfriend hates it because I'll have my like my hair and he'll be like, I'll be like, babe, don't put your hand over my shoulder. You're gonna like pull the hair back. <laughs> but I turned up in this. <laughs> hey. I partied all night. We went to an after party, so it is completely like wedding party after party proof so anyways we brushed her out she looks a little bit better again this look that i'm going to do today is a high pony i'll come back let me know if you want me to do a low lower fully low fully back pony look which must be like ridiculous because that is 30 inches sis like ready <laughs> All right, so now we're stepping into the part that matters. And if you're not careful, this part can actually not make the look look as great as you would want it. Ideally, if right now is when you're going to pull out the baby hairs, you can already start like taking out the hairs that you would want to like sleep back. But I am not going to do in this video. I'm not doing a baby hair look. OK, so it's not needed. So I'm just going to brush all of it back.
All right, so here you wanna make sure you are going to do a good job putting it all up together. So this is where the bun does matter. So I grab two scrunchies and you flip your head over and make sure all the hairs to the front, pick it up. And then you wanna start kind of flattening all the hair, everything from the front and the back. So all the little hairs you have there, I use a pomade, it's my boyfriend's pomade, you can grab any. And I like to look up real close and personal to make sure that I am getting every uh, little piece of it. Also, I like using pomade because it kind of does have a shine to it. And since this ponytail is synthetic, it does have more of a shine than like real human hair ponytail does. So it kind of blends perfect. All right, make sure you have no bumps in the back. No bumps on the side. You know, that's the hardest part. Brush it out. Continue to brush it out until it's super flat. And this is exactly why I do straighten my hair because if I had curly hair, my curls will pop through. All right, brush it out, smooth it out. You can grab the little edge brush or just use a toothbrush. I still love my handy dandy toothbrush. Clean up all those little edges. As you can see, I make sure it's super flat all around. I go ahead and get the got to be glued and I put it in my edges. You can put it all around your head. I grab two little scrunchies now and make sure to put it in a very tight bun. I do it three different knots, not different knots, but three knots. Don't squeeze it, please. This is a part where people squeeze and then they create dents in their hair. I do a very light squeeze, like a very light pull. Keep going and twisting it as a super tight little bun. Same thing, I tie this one in three. Get some more pomade, continue to make it flat, make all those little hairs go down. Honestly, I would lay my entire hair with got to be glued if it was super needed. But since I just did this video for you guys, I really didn't need to put that much got to be glued because if not, I would have had a very hard um, hair after the video. <laughs> I very lightly brush my edges. I don't do baby hairs in this. Continue to brush it with your toothbrush because it is very delicate, those little areas. And if you grab the big brush, you might mess up the bun. Continue going. I do the sides really good by my ear because that's where the ponytail is gonna like lay. Like you'll see what I mean when the when I actually put the ponytail on. They keep your drink cold for like nine hours. And it says, girl, you got this from my brand called Dare to Create. It'll be in the link in my um, description as well. Mm. I believe three of these or almost four of these are equivalent to a gallon of water so drink your water all right so now i test it okay let me run my brush again through this beautiful ponytail when you first take it out the package it's so beautiful clip clip drawstring so we're gonna just easily make sure this and this match up Actually, I'm gonna do it the, the right way because it's not. I'm gonna pull it over, pull it in, and pull your drawstring. Look at that. And this is why I said I don't mind having my hair a little shiny because it kind of goes with the ponytail. So if hair comes out like it did for me from in the back, I want you to go back in with got to be glued and pomade and then just lay them out the same way we did the front. Do walk around with a brush and brush. But this is a look that I did for the wedding. I had it to this side. That's why I put the most got to be on this side because it's going to be moving a lot. And then I put it on this side. I just confirm, make sure it's clipped in. Which, baby, look, it's clipped, okay? Guys, and this is literally how you achieve your own 
ponytail look at home. Oh, and don't forget, hello, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you've ever done an extension ponytail look or you've bought a pony or you've never or you've been scared or tempted to do so but you haven't done it. Hopefully, I inspired you to get this look for 15 bucks. I don't know. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. All right, guys, so that's the look. I hope you absolutely love it. You know we always go on to Instagram when we create a fire-ass look. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, go do so right now. I just dropped it here. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Please share with your girls, especially your curly hair friends who will be trying to figure out hairstyles, okay? Anyways, much love, guys.